Okay, everybody, this is David Snyder. I am back with another guitar lesson, specifically for my um, adult education master class in the guitar. This is for the students who are trying to learn um, a excellent but somewhat tricky piece called Romanza. Um, it's also commonly known as uh, the Spanish Ballad. It's one of the most popular performing pieces or repertoire pieces for the classical guitar. Um, very familiar, it starts off like this. <laughs> Sure, we've heard that many times. Students love to practice this song because it helps you to not only add a great song to your repertoire but also to work on various items of technique, um, especially the AMI arpeggio, which we play on the top three strings, um, the treble strings, with their A finger, M finger, and I finger. So we just are doing that anyway as part of our daily practice. A M I A M I. Remembering certain things about technique. Arm gently resting here. Fingers gently resting on the string so we can pull or pluck. And when we rest our thumb on the D string or the A string or any of the other B, um, bass strings, we should be able to see a tiny little triangle between our thumb and our first uh, finger and that tells us that our position um, is correct. Your hand should always feel very comfortable. Okay, So one of the things that we have to do in Romanza or the Spanish Ballad is we have to be able to pluck at certain passages the bass string. Okay, In some cases that is open, in other cases it's not. With their thumb while simultaneously playing the first string with their A finger. So it uses a lot of technique. Um, the hardest part to get um, really down like clockwork, and you should practice it with the metronome, is this part. A-M-I-A-M-I-A-M-I-A-M-I. -A 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 -A. Okay, so you can't really learn the song without the sheet music. Uh, it's abundantly uh, available. Just look for Romanza uh, or the Spanish Ballad, and you'll be able to find the sheet music um, all over the place. So the way the song starts is it starts with a B note, and again, if you have the complete notes of the um, guitar chore uh, disposal, you really should be memorizing um, the notes of the fretboard at this particular point, and you should be learning what those notes look like if they're written on um, musical notation, okay? But it starts with a B on the seventh fret of the first string, and you pluck the B and the open E bass string at the same time, and then you do this. How that's using the arpeggio pattern, so it's down to A, then down to the G, then you move down to the F sharp, so it's And you go back up, hit the G, then you go up to the B, then you go all the way up to the 12th fret and grab the, um, the uh, E here at the 12th fret, then you go down to the D, then to the C. you're going to have to do the grueling exercise of making a um, almost complete bar on the fifth uh, fret. You actually uh, will leave the A string open so you can go so that's the 
A note on the top string barred, then the B, then the C. Okay, so once you climb up, you go. Then this part is a bear for most uh, young beginning students. You make a full bar on the seventh fret, and you put your second finger down on the D sharp, which is the eighth fret of the third string. It's kind of a B7 a formation. Doing this. Okay, so your B um, on the first string seventh fret is now part of the bar. And then your third finger, this is a real finger contortion, goes down on the eighth fret of the first string, making the C note. Comes back up. Then you reach your pinky all the way to the 11th fret, grab the D sharp there, back down to the 8th fret, lift that finger up and play the B, and then you do the B again, A, G, now there are different ways to do this, I, for the last section, I use a full B7 chord. I'm making the B with the second finger um, of the left hand. I'm hitting the D sharp on the fourth string with my first finger. I'm making an A with my third finger on the third string. And I'm making a, a F sharp with my pinky on the first string. It's a full F7 chord, so it allows me just to move my pinky up to the G so I can play the last passage without having to move my hand. So I go... See that? And resolving to an E minor chord. Okay. Thumb on the fourth string. Thumb on the fifth string. Hit the G string. Open. Okay. So... Uh, again, once you do all of that, and I'll do it, you know, fairly uh, slowly the last time, you're going. So practice that, have a great time with it, just work on section one for a while until you master it. Uh, you'll get a lot of mileage out of that, learning technique and also learning a beautiful song. And I'll teach you part two of um, the song, the second section, in the next lesson. Thanks.